uh, what, what, what do socialists stand for? I mean, well, come and see. But can you tell me, you know, convince me to vote socialist too? It's a long speech. Okay. So it's a long speech to convince me that it's a good thing to vote for a socialist? What, what do you think? Well, in the, in the in best of all worlds it would be, except they never seem to get elected. The socialists? Yeah. What do you think if, if they did get elected? Do you think the country will get better? Honestly, I, every revolution that's ever happened, people in the power get in and fuck the people. <laughs> so, probably so, not. So. That doesn't mean you can't try, though. <laughs> So, but the problem with trying is that millions of people get killed. See, I came from the USSR, I know firsthand. That's why I'm a little kind of confused. I think, I think we should have a non-violent protest, civil disobedience in this country, and force them to do the things that have to be done. But to, but what, fight the, to fight the government, you'll, you'll get killed. Uh, but it, it seems like it's, it's the Republicans who are small government, as far as uh, I know, no? I don't think the Democrats are, fighting, are much better than the Republicans. Be I'm sorry? I don't think the Democrats are much better. Much better. Hillary, but at least the fundamental difference between, the, I mean, fundamental, is that the Republicans equals small government, Democrats means, means big government, no? Re Republicans are for big business, they're for business. And Democrats are supposed to be for uh -huh. the people, but they're not. And what's what's the story with socialism then? I mean, how socialism, would socialism solve, solve the problem? Because you would tax the rich and you wouldn't have things like uh, you wouldn't be able to have access to uh, health care, and people wouldn't have to mortgage their homes, to, you know, if they have cancer, and uh, the income would be greater, uh, uh, more equally distributed. One percent of the country has 99 percent of the wealth. Is that but, right? Uh, well, but see, what happened in the country that I escaped from, where we did have so-called socialism, everybody was equal. But that's, because, not, that's not true. You had a, a crypto-fascist government under Stalin and, you know, what he did was... No, but, but what I'm saying is that everybody was uh, equally miserable, as uh, Churchill famously said. So, I mean, is it possible to have socialism where people are not going to be equally yeah, miserable? Yeah, there's socialism in, in Denmark and Sweden. But it's, it's not socialism. No, no it's, 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 it's nothing to do with socialism, they, as you know. They have very, very liberal policies towards people. But it's not socialism. Even the, the Dutch uh, president, the president of Denmark, uh, kept uh, used to say that please stop calling my country socialist because if you talk about the definitions the definition of socialism is a uh, private property is outlawed and the profit is outlawed can I make a, a buck in Scandinavia okay that I I don't believe in that but I also don't believe that you should have corporations that you know that elect politicians with their money I don't uh -huh. believe that um, that uh, the taxes favor wealthy people. General Electric doesn't pay one dollar in taxes. One well, dollar. I just read uh, an article uh, written uh, by uh, email to the head of uh, G, and he's saying that it's not true at all. In fact, he's moving his his headquarters from I think Connecticut yeah. uh, to. It's a fact that they don't pay taxes. It's that, for him to say it's not true doesn't make it so. It's a fact, they pay uh -huh. no taxes. I mean, this is the company that employs tens of thousands of people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but they should still pay taxes. I pay taxes, why shouldn't they? Uh -huh. Okay, and you think that socialism will solve for the issues of the big government, of corporations and stuff like that? Because there will be no corporations in socialism to start well, with, right? I don't mean that kind of socialism. But I mean a pro uh, more equal distribution of the wealth and programs, more programs for people versus corporations. I you know all... that Exxon gets billions of dollars a year in transfer Yeah, payments? yeah, of that's, course not. No, it doesn't. It but, does, but, it's a fact. But, but the thing is, I see like this, this red star in your head. I mean, this is kind of Chinese communist star. I, so was a, I was a communist in the 60s. Ah, you were a communist. Yes, so, right. oh, I see. Have you changed your kind of ways well, a little bit? they could have a utopian society, uh -huh. I would still have it. It will happen? I said if I, in the utopian society, I would have it. But the way it, what, what happens, uh -huh. the way it's practiced, even in Cuba, right. it's horrible. But you are for the ideals of socialism, right? Yes. I said. Okay. All right, well, good luck. I'm a hardcore capitalist. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you don't do it at the expense of exploiting people. There is that, such a thing as exploitation and capitalism. There is a free uh, exchange 
of We don't money. have capitalism in this country. We have an oligarchy, a very wealthy well, I'm a small businessman. I employ 11 people, including myself. I'm a small businessman. I employ three people. See, so there you go. You know how it works. You have to make your people happy. Otherwise, you will not have a business. Teamwork is what matters. I, I agree, but but everything slanted in favor for the big corporations in this company. Yeah, but look, I'm a small corporation now. Do you think that I wouldn't mind becoming, I don't know, a multi-billion corporation right there? I would love to. If I could, I would. As long I'm as you don't do it at the expense of people. But look, 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 let's say, I mean, you're a reasonable person. I mean, you're a business Okay, here, well. here's something. Yes. Toys R Us. Yes. They brought over people on workers' visas. They, they uh, had the people in their pup, in their corporation train them. Uh -huh. And they fired those people because the ones on workers' visas were making less money. That's uh -huh. not right. They also uh, broke the law, and that's not what the worker visas well, for. I mean, I that's can't... the kind of capitalism I don't like. Look, I'm... You're speaking for for you know some some examples that I can't I can't really talk about it because I don't know the details. Look it but, up though, you'll see I'm right. Okay, fine, but but generally speaking, I mean of course there are exceptions to any rule. There is no ideal society. We don't have ideal capitalism. We don't have ideal socialism. That's true. When you were younger, you were striving for ideal you know communism, like you said. Well, but yes. now, now where, where where you stand right now that you know you have a little more gray hair. And the only reason is I don't think it'll work. It's the only reason. I, the I, only reason. It, yeah. So it's like reality check. I would rather have that in a, in a re, you know equal distribution of wealth, where uh, people don't have to starve. And there's uh -huh. homelessness. Uh, I would rather have that a communist state if we could do that. But it doesn't work that way. You employ three people, you said, right? Yes. Uh, do you pay yourself exactly the same salary as your employees? Pretty close. And if let's say you will have ten people and making more profit. Would you share it equally? I, I might take some more, but I wouldn't take a vast amount more. I could exploit the people that work for me, but I don't do it. But it's not exploitation. I mean, they're I sort of it running, is. running salaries. I mean, if let's say, yeah, I don't know, you are a successful, successful uh, businessman. I mean, wouldn't you expect to sort of, you know, pay it a little more than your employees? Yeah, but a little more is fine. It's the guys that. Uh, like I say, 1% of the population of this country uh -huh. controls 90% of the wealth. That's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, it's it shouldn't wrong. be that way. Well, Bill Gates, the richest man in the world, started from nothing, from nobody, like you and I. And look, doesn't make it right that he has that much money. Does he really need billions? No. He can't but, give some of that away and help people? But look what he did. He gave away all, virtually all his wealth. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. All Good, of it? Together no. with Buffett. Virtually all of it. Virtually all of it. Of course, well, for him, right. retaining 1%, the proverbial 1% still, is a lot of money. Well, I, you know, I, for I, you and me. That's fine. That, what it, then that's great. It's the people that, that don't do that, that, you know, look for... Look, I, I have a bleeding heart. I feel bad when I see people on the street. I feel bad when the people can't feed me themselves. Me too. Yeah, me too. I feel bad that you have me to... Me too. You know, the, I... The problem is the solution of the problem. To me, socialism is not the solution. It never worked and never will. Equal distribution never worked, never will. Trickle down. Okay, well, to no, me, trickle that's down now. No, 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 down, no, no, trickle down. <laughs> we have trickled down now. It just trickled up. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. All right, nice talking to you. Yeah, I didn't get any trickles. <laughs> nice meeting you. Okay, so here.